Hey, welcome back again to Auto Transport Intel. Thanks for joining me again here on the homepage on my YouTube channel. I have done some updates. Uh, I'm always doing updates, but I got a new one. 50 plus FMCSA registered ELD solutions. Click here. A through Z, 50 plus companies that are authorized and approved as providers by the FMCSA. That's one of the important requirements. I realize that this isn't something we want to do, but this law is bearing down on us and we're probably going to have to comply. Meanwhile, uh, take part in the protests and hope for the delay. But if it doesn't happen, go to fmcsa.gov and you can go ahead and type in a search for ELD. And here you're going to find some important links, um, a checklist. What about the devices? Who's exempt? I checked it. Not many people. You got to be pretty local and it has to be pretty specific. Um, so go ahead and click on this uh, ELD FAQ. Sign up for the email for the updates. I did this. I already got signed up. That way you can at least get information as it's coming in. Now as this law is bearing down on us, uh, I want to recommend go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the FAQ page here. You want to click on ELD brochure. Click on that and download this brochure. It's in English, Spanish. Go ahead and download the brochure. Okay, click on that. And on this, it's a two-page brochure. This at least gets you started. And what you want to do, look at this ELD rule implementation. Because this kind of gives the nuts and bolts of what's happening right now. Uh, everyone is subject to the ELD rule, or AOBRD, now, an AOBRD, you would know what this is because you already have one. If you do not have an AOBRD, you need to get an ELD ready before December 18th, 2017. Now, once that happens, one of the key ingredients of an ELD being compliant is have the capability of either telematic data transfer or local transfer. What does that mean? Telematic would be by email or text and local transfer would be by USB or printability, you have to be able to share your e-log with a DOT officer either by email or text or by printability or USB drive. And he has to be able to view your ELD device without entering the cab of your truck. Those are the main things to know. So we're going to be talking about ELD. I hope this is being helpful. I am sorry for the bad news, but I am. I did receive an ELD red box from Stone Ridge Easy ELD. So in a coming soon episode, we're going to open this bad boy, see what's in it. I'm going to plug it into my car. Apparently that will work also. We're going to test it out, see what's happening, and I want to keep you informed. So please like this video if you like it. If you hate it, please give a dislike. Uh, also, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get notified of every new episode and not just occasional. And also please comment and share. I do appreciate it. My name is Jay. I'm the car hauling dispatcher. You're watching Auto Transport Intel. You have a great day. Thanks a lot.